So we're going to we're going to find they want us to find f of 1, but they don't want us to just plug it in, which we could. They want us to use synthetic division. So I'm going to show you how you can either plug in 1 here for x, everywhere for x, or you can use synthetic division, and that's the same thing. So let's plug it in first. What's f of 1? It's going to be 3 minus 9 plus 5 minus 6. That was pretty easy to do because we're just plugging in 1, which equals negative 6 minus 1, which equals negative 7. The other way you could have done it is you could have done synthetic division with 3, negative 9, 5, negative 6. Now this isn't going to be as easy to do, but you'll see that this, this is what this amounts to doing the same thing. 1 times 3 is 3, that's negative 6, 1, that's negative 6, negative 1, that's negative 1, negative 7. Those are going to be the same thing because synthetic division when you do synthetic division, it's the same as finding the value by plugging in the variable. Okay. So why is that such a valuable thing to know? Well, it's so valuable to know because if you, if you get a zero right here, that means that f of 1 equals 0, which means z, uh, 1 comma 0 is a point on your graph, which means 1 is an x-intercept. If, if you got a 0 here, which we didn't for this particular one, but that's why we're always looking to find the 0 in that place. Because then if we have a 0 there, then this thing right here is the other factor. Let me just give you an example of that. So let's do this one for example. Let's find f of negative 4 f of negative 4, f of negative 4, if I plug this in, I'm going to get 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how synthetic division, if we use synthetic division, and I bring this down, I get 1, multiply negative 4, 1, negative 4, 0. Okay, the reason that it was the reason that it's synthetic division is so valuable is because it is another way to basically it's another way to factor an equation. Because now if I know that if I know that um, zero comma negative four sorry, negative four comma zero is one of my points, I know that In other words, x equals negative 4 was one of my zeros. Let's go backwards and let's set that equal to 0. There's my factor. And at the very beginning, I should have recognized that, oh, yeah, look, I could just take out an x minus 4, and, or x plus 4 and x plus 1. And there's my x plus 1 right here. That right there means that x plus 4 is a factor. And the remainder here is my other factor. So synthetic division is basically another way of factoring an equation. And that was an easy example. You didn't have to do it for that because that could have just been factored. But when you have a cubic or a quartic or something, synthetic division is great because it starts breaking down your, your equation for you and helps you find the other factors.